In the thick of it, the latest Irwin wildlife warrior, four-year-old Robert. Building. It's just going to be amazing. We're going to travel the world. We're going to see amazing different um, types of wild, right? It's really cool to be able to, to feed my first saltwater crop because I'll be able to carry on in my dad's legacy. Happy birthday, dear Robert. Heartbreak and happiness. He's grown up in front of the whole country. And now Robert Irwin has hit a very special milestone. Indeed he has. Robert is celebrating his sweet 16th birthday on Sunday. And he joins us now from Australia Zoo with his proud mum, Terry. Good morning to you both. Lovely to have you on the show. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, Robert, Australia Zoo Good has, has Good gifted you. you a very special present to mark the occasion. And I believe you are leaning on it even as <laughs> yes. we speak. This is... This is it, yeah. I was so incredibly excited with this. This is my amazing birthday gift. This is, of course, a giant uh, white rhino, very similar to the ones that we have at Australia Zoo. Mm -hmm. And last year, I was gifted um, a, a really cool sculpture of a, a triceratops, which is, of course, a dinosaur from millions and millions of years ago. So we put this in right next to it to sort of teach kids about, you know, the, the evolution of, of nature and just how important our modern-day dinosaurs are. I mean, it really is like we live with dinosaurs here at the zoo because we've got so many incredible creatures. And kids can come and climb on it, and, yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's it's very cool. Nothing says <laughs> Sweet cool 16 quite like a massive white rhino, exactly. Robert Irwin. How are you celebrating exactly. this weekend? That's What's what planned? I always say. <laughs> There's a lot of fun things planned. Hey, yeah, we've, um, well, first of all, we're feeding the crocodiles in the crocosseum, which is always my favourite thing to do. Uh, I've been feeding the crocs in there, as you just saw, since I was like 10 years old. I absolutely love it. But we've also got, you know, all kids are going to be in for free. It's just going to be a wonderful family day out for everyone who's uh, comes to Australia Zoo. And it's, yeah, it's going to be kind of photography and, and dinosaur themed, some of my my biggest passion, so I yeah. can't wait. I think you'll be, be sick good. of selfies yeah, by been, the end of Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be sick of selfies. <laughs> I enjoy it. I, I no, need my practice. Fine. I need my selfie. Um, yeah, you know, it's a good yes, workout. You go. yeah. yes. Hey, and Terry. And you've got your big water slide and climbing wall and everything. Yeah, yeah it's going to be so cool. long. Terry, we've watched uh, Robert and Bindi grow yeah. up over the years, of course. How does it feel now that the baby of the family is turning 16? <laughs> 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 no, I've got him in his dad's ute learning to drive a manual, and yeah. that, that thing's a beast. It's man. scary. It's really well, but it is. The crocodiles are way easier than it driving. Is, it is amazing when you see your kids hit these milestones, and it's so. I'm so proud of Robert. I mean, he could do anything he wanted in the entire world, and he's chosen to work here at Australia Zoo and be part of our conservation family and continue Steve's work. So I couldn't be prouder. And he's I just love like it. Steve. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, um, I feel very fortunate what I get to do and, and having the most amazing family around me all the time that are constantly, you know, supporting me and encouraging me. And I, I've kind of been able to find my own passions throughout life and, and continue this, this work. It's, it's awesome. It's so much fun. It's, it's so... And it's great getting to talk to you guys, too. Well, well, well the pleasure is all ours, I can assure you. And, and it's quite emotional. Maybe it's the pregnancy hormones, but I feel quite emotional seeing all those gorgeous little clips of you as a little boy, Robert, growing up uh, in front of all of us, in front of the cameras, yeah. um, and following in your father's footsteps as well. And, Terry, mm. I imagine for you that's quite emotional as well. How do you think... or What do you think Steve would think of his little boy becoming a young man and, and the young man that he has become? <laughs> I, I think Steve would be incredibly proud. You know, he'd be just, crikey, go, go, son. You know, and that's all he wanted was for his kids to be happy and healthy and passionate about wildlife. And when you grow up with Steve at Australia Zoo, I don't think you have much of a choice but mm. to be passionate about wildlife. But I do miss him for these milestones. I do wish he was here. I know he would be so immensely proud of both Bindi and Robert. But I kind of feel like he is. You know, people come into Australia Zoo and they say, you know, it feels, feels kind of like he's still here. It is mm. special. We're looking at vision now, Steve, and it's, it is. There's so much wonderful vision of him doing his thing with, 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 with you all. Mm. It does seem like he's still here. Uh, Robert, let's, let's move on. You, you brought the wildlife to the red carpet at the Arias earlier this week, even wrangling Sophie Monk yes. to hold your pet snake. We didn't know where to look there. It was all happening. <laughs> How did you manage to do that? Yeah. 
job. Yeah, it was it was it was exciting. Yeah, there was uh, a lot going on 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 the Arias. Um, I'm I'm definitely more at home with. Uh, with, with rhinos than, than I am on a red carpet. But it was very exciting. And, and Sophie's lovely. She, we, we've known her over the years. Um, and she's, she's a very lovely person. And it was, it was a lot of fun, definitely. And, you know, going to events like that with animals, it's interesting to see people's reactions. But it is, it's nice, you know, teaching people about wildlife, the people who probably aren't as keen to, to hold uh, a, a black-headed python, you know? So it's, it's good. It's a lot of fun. But it was good to see you there as well. It was, it was really good. Oh, it was a great night. It's always, always good to catch up with She's people. a very it was good a fun sport, night, wasn't it? Sophie Marsh. Yeah. Hey, I know big sister <laughs> Bindi sure. is about to embark on her own milestone not, uh, not too far away, yes. or it's not too far away before she walks down the yeah. aisle on her big wedding day. And she's asked you, Robert, to walk her down. How did, how did yeah. uh, that conversation happen? Oh, yeah, it was such an amazing honour, definitely, when she asked me to, to walk her down the aisle. Uh, I think I was just so incredibly um, honoured uh, to, to really be so heavily involved in such a huge milestone. Mm -hmm. I think Bindi is such an amazing person. She's just so positive and so lovely to everyone around her. And Chandler is exactly the same. I mean, he is amazing. I can't fault him. Her fiance is just wonderful. <laughs> and I'm so happy for both of them. And I think it's it's going to be a really special moment getting to walk her down the aisle. And uh, it's definitely seems like 2020 is going to be a, a lot of big milestones for our family, for Australia Zoo. And there's some pretty exciting things ahead, definitely. So yeah, well, it's, it's, a, never, it's a pretty cool time. Never a dull moment for you, Irwins. Yeah. We wish you. A, a happy birthday. Thank Very you true. for being on the show this morning. <laughs> Terry, lovely to Thank see you, you. As, as always. If you'd like to wish Robert a happy birthday in person, Thank head to so australiazoo.com.au for more details. Bye -bye. Thank you both. See you happy later. Happy birthday. Bye. Uh, Thanks, guys. Birthday. See you later. <laughs> Thank you.